Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Libby from CZT Sue Schneider. This is a really cool tangle. Uh, and before I forget, and I might even mention it again, I probably will. Um, Make sure to take a look at the description section where I have a link not only to my step out, more importantly, a link to the Tangle Patterns link, which it should say for more inspiration, and then click that link uh, to take you to Tangle Patterns where um, this where Sue's step out is, and also her samples, her examples of how she's used it. The, it just absolutely gorgeous work, number one. And then two, it gives you great ideas on how you can use this, ways to decorate it, um, and again, highly recommend taking a look at that. All right. So this one starts off with some like sort of curved lines. And as we were talking, I, I just did a couple sessions and I'll show you the samples from those today. Um, uh, do using this tangle. And so I have my hand planted here and then using that natural curve, I'm going to just draw a line like so turn in my tile drawing another one, crossing it, you know, kind of at the top or at one end, I should say. And at the same time, you know what, it doesn't matter. <laughs> then I'm just turning the tile because I'm going to, I want to make this five sides and I'm just turning the tile. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then this last one, will just go like so. If I was to just draw that, you know, I was like, I personally would have a challenge, but it's like, you know what? Curve line here, turn, turn, turn. And usually it's just at the end, you can kind of, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be, nothing has to be even. It just is what it is. And it's lovely. All right. Next step. It, it, it exemplifies that there's no such thing as a mistake in Zentangle. And also to, you know, just follow the, follow the steps and don't think about the outcome. Um, just, you just want to have them all crossing like that. Then next is we're going to do some rounding. And rounding it, so I'm going to just do this corner. And in Sue's step out, she just did one, you know, one of these three corners. It doesn't have to be the same one. But so you just draw that curved line to round off that corner. And then we're filling it in. I'm just going to go ahead and just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to do this. I'll go on the same side. But of course, like everything is entangled, right? We, you know, it's like if you want to do, you know two, whatever, flip the sides, do this side. It's all good. And get that filled in there. And then just this last one. Such a neat, this is like, it caught my eye early on. And then I was so, and I, I, I know Susu was uh, actually, she was on our, our evening session today and, um, and it was, it, it's cool when you, when you know the, you know, and I, and I should say, I don't know Sue well, but, um, but we have, she's been on several of my classes and, you know, we've talked and stuff and it's just, it's so neat to actually, you know, be able to, to chat and have the person that originated the tangle on, online with you. So I, I just think that that's so neat. All right. So you have the, that rounding part is done. Then we're going to just do a little aura on the inside. And for those that don't know, to aura, as you can see, I'm just kind of tracing. You you know, pick the the distance you want to stay away from that line, and then you just kind of do your best to stay, you know, within that close. And if you go slow, make sure to breathe. <laughs> then it makes it a lot easier. Then the last step was just putting some orbs on these little ends. And, and for those, of course, you know, if you wanted to fill them in or whatnot on some of mine, I, I kind of alternated, but well, you know what? And actually, let me take this back. That's essentially it, but, um, but you can, well, you know, I'm going to leave this one at this and then I'll show you from, from my samples, how you can, can add that and make it grow because she does have one, you know, one additional step. So if you want to add to it and you want to do multiple on a page, um, and I, I agree with her. It's neat where so you could take, you know, one of these lines and continue it so that there's a kind of a connection in between them. All right. So let me raise this up a little bit. 
and like I said, we had a lot of fun with this tangle. All right. Oh, gosh, a little bit higher. I they did this one on a Zendala, which is about uh, four and a half inches, I think, in uh, diameter. But you can see this. All right. So in this one, I decided to add color. It's a Renaissance tile, so it's tan. And um, and I also so I decided to do uh, each one in a different uh like I said, a different color. And then uh, for the shading, I decided to use uh, pa the General's uh, pastel chalk pencils <clears throat> because I just felt like it. <laughs> All right. So, um, so what I did on this one and this one, let's see, where did I, where did I connect? Um, I didn't really physically connect, but let's see. Oh, so like right here. So, um, I think I did, I don't remember which one I did first. Oh, I think I did this one, this one first. Yes. And then I said, oh, well, coming from this line, but I didn't connect these two, which you, so you could, you can do that. And when Sue was on our call, she said that was one thing that she liked to do. And I, I missed, I didn't notice it in her step out where she had this from this corner kind of connected. And so this line would then naturally come out of that. So this just shows you, you know, you can do it that way or you can, you know, or you can not. But so I started off with just doing it like as if it was a hollow bow. So not, not having it, uh, touch. So I started it, but I continued that line this way and then started this one. And then from that one, I can't remember which direction I went, but that's just one of the ways that you can do it on this one that I did later. Um, yes, I did do that. So did this pattern. And well, yeah, and then I, and then I, well, as there's no such thing as mistakes in Zentangle, it's not really a goof, but, but kind of, um, so this one I went, I'm like, oh, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to, I'll take this line out here. Well, what really works with this tangle is to have all of the curve lines going, say into the center of this, this one, I didn't, I did it. I ended up doing it the other direction, but as in everything's entangled, you know, you make it work and it's okay. And so for each of them, you know, like, so this one I, I took from this line and connected it here. And I decided to do that with all of them, just kind of connecting them to the next one and going from there and, and doing the same process that I showed you here. And then it's, again, it's just the, the decorating ideas that you will see on, um, on that tangle patterns. Like, but this gives you a, you know, a few, you could put some, you could put your favorite tangle inside some of them. I did some dark uh, sh uh, shading with the graphite just on a couple corners so that way it looks like it's you know um, like as if it was cut open type of thing and, and then I added some graphite to the the underside of just some of those lines and it's you know and, and no rhyme or reason to which one actually I did start off with doing the ones that were kind of like to the inside here but then other than that I added some other ones and um, it, it ends up just looking neat this one, uh, similar ideas. Um, I did more shading kind of around each one uh, with uh, with a different color of uh, of the uh, chalk pencil. Again, just for fun. And in the background of this one is uh, Therefore, which I did on um, a video a couple days ago, something like that. Because um, I thought, you know, it needs something. What shall I put? Oh, hey, why don't I just go and use that Therefore? And uh, so that was fun. Anyway. Just wanted to share those as a couple ideas for this uh, wonderful tangle. Again, um, take a look at the the links that are in the description section. If you would love to be uh, to do something live, if you've not you know had a live class, I do offer both free and paid classes. Uh, at the time of the recording of this, I do is today is Thursday here. And I do a couple uh, free sessions and where I pick a tangle or two and we just have fun with it. So if you'd like to be a part of that, check out my website in the description box, the link, and um, and uh, would love to have you. Also, would love to have a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you do describe, make sure to hit the, the little bell next to that so that way you can decide how you want to be notified, if you want to be notified at all. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this again, and uh, I wish you happy tangling.